Hedda, good to see you in as well. Good stuff. All right, so this week starts uh, a new sequence of classes uh, here at Lands of the Arts Club Live. Uh, we did some MACLA, did some Rhythm Band class, really make sure those basics, those ability to train well were there. Now you've done loads of those, we're now going to be more specific. You've seen from the Instagram, Instagram post yesterday that there's going to be a, a glute class, which is what we have now. There's going to be some high intensity class in the evening as well. There's going to be some upper body classes, some mobility classes, as well as the MAP Pilates classes that you've been doing as well. So, um, if you do have a mini resistance band, that'll be helpful today. Um, and you do need something to lean against or to rest against, so if it's a sofa or it's a chair, because we are going to do some split squats, some hip thrusts. Um, so again, having something to lean against will be really perfect. Okay, all right, good stuff. So we're gonna start with a warm up. Again, we're gonna stretch all our hips first. So lunge position for me. One knee down, lean forward. Squeeze your glutes, drive the hips into a stretch. And then just rock forward and back. Just this little movement. Forward and back. Just this little slide into that motion. Forward and back. Just gonna stretch off the back hip flexor as we move forward and back just a little bit. If you guys get any connection issues, do uh, do let me know. Switch your legs, and again, just slide forward and back. A little squeeze of your glutes, and relax. Again, we're trying to stretch the hip flexor on the other leg now. Again, as we go into a class with some more specifics, in terms of doing glutes, etc., etc. If you have any requests, anything you'd like to work on specifically, again, send me a direct message and let me know. Good, okay, onto your hands and knees, into a cat stretch, just roll up through the spine, and then return by rolling down the other way. Roll up, and rolling down. Good. Keep going, keep rolling through that motion. Good morning to more of you that are joining. It's good to see more people coming in. We're gonna do two more of these. One more. Good, nice stuff. All right, hamstring swing for me now. So again, find something to balance on if you don't. Big swing of the leg forward and back. Good posture. Good ab squeeze, try and stretch the back of the leg as we swing forwards and back. We do 10 swings on each leg. And then we're gonna switch. Good, nice stuff, shake the legs out. Okay, next one, big high step, and back down. High step, and back down. Keep driving the knees up, try and squeeze from your glutes. So as you drive up, you're controlling that power from the standing leg. The camera position, Adriana, is set up um, just because I need the sofa in at the moment. Um, um, so yeah, we'll get a slightly better position. It'll look a little bit easier when we do the hip thrust and stuff because we'll need that angle, that's all. So, uh, and give it, if it's an issue later, let me know. Okay, a little squat position. So feet a little bit wide, we're going to sit down into a squat and come back up. Sit down into a squat, come back up. Again, try and control hips out, slowly down, and back up. Good. Two more. Good. And one. Stay at the bottom for me. See if you can take four steps forward. And four back. Good. And again. Four forward, and four back. Good, nice stuff. Legs should be a little bit warmed up. Now we are gonna start our hard work. So we're gonna start nice and simply with 
a glute bridge, okay? So a real basic one to start with. Again, you've done it in mat Pilates as we've done so far. We're gonna think about getting a pelvic tilt. So knees and hip, uh, knees and feet hip width apart. Eye line up, control by pulling your rib cage down, belly button down, tilt the hips, squeeze from your glutes so your backside is one inch off the floor, and then clench your glutes to drive the hips up. And then roll through your abs to control back down. You're not coming down flat, you're trying to roll through your spine, try and create as much motion through your spine as you can. Be hands on, feel your glutes, feel your abdominals if you need to, to make sure those muscles are working. One more time. Drive to the top and hold, hands across your chest. Let your hips drop down one inch, squeeze the glutes to lift them back up. Relax, let them drop, squeeze to come back up. This movement happens from your abs and glutes, okay? No lifting your rib cage, just squeezing, engaging your glutes. You're gonna feel those muscles in the back of your legs start to work. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest, give a squeeze, and take a little rock from side to side. Good, we're being really deliberate about some setup for this session. Because now you get to work really, really hard, okay? So again, if you need to rest, you rest. Otherwise, I want you to challenge yourself, I want you to work as hard as you can during the sequence of exercises we're gonna go through, okay? So be really deliberate about the pace that we can keep. So, Try and stick with me, try and work as hard as you can, and uh, you'll have great glutes by the time we're done. All right, so we are gonna start with a hip thrust, okay? You don't necessarily need your mat here. If your mat's very good and stable, you can have your feet on it. If you feel like your mat might slide, you can take it away and go onto whatever flooring you have. So we're gonna go into a hip thrust. So you're gonna sit down in front of your chair or your sofa, whatever you have, and I want you to sit to a point so that your shoulder blades are just about on top of it, so you don't want to feel like you're slouched down, okay? So you want to sit up nice and tall. Hands come across your chest. Knees hit width apart, feet hit width apart. From here, my eye line is straight out, okay? I'm not ever going to look at the ceiling. Hands across your chest. Think about the hip exercise we just did, that bridge. I'm going to push my weight back into my shoulders without my head going back. And I'm now going to think about driving my hips up towards the ceiling. Now, I could do that by lifting my ribs. I don't want to do that. I want to think about what we just did, that pelvic tilt. So hands across your chest, create that squeeze. Tuck in. Pull your rib cage down, tilt the hip, squeeze the glutes, and back down. You notice how my eye line stays the same. I'm looking straight out past the camera, and I'm squeezing from my glutes when I get to the top. If you've got your mini resistance band, you can pop that around your knees here if you need more of a challenge, okay? So we're gonna keep going, keep driving up here. Don't let those knees fall together. Squeeze the glutes hard at the top. Good. Three to go. Two more. Big squeeze of your glute. One more. Good. Lovely stuff. That's exercise one. Exercise two is a split squat. So again, if you've got a chair, if you've got a sofa, it's great. If you haven't, you might just have to do this on the floor and do it as a basic lunge variation. All I want you to do is take your back foot onto the sofa. So in this case, left foot on, right foot forward. So all we're going to do from this position is let your back knee drop down to the ground. Okay, so hips forward, chest leans over the front leg, drop the back knee down as it's going to get just towards the ground, push through the front leg to come back up. Lean forward, weight into the heel, control down and drive up. Good. We're going to come down slowly, powerful as we come back up. Let's try and keep a pace as we do this. Try and keep that lead into it so we squeeze into your glute to stand you back up. But we want to drive through that front leg. If you feel a bit in the front of the thigh, because you're leaning back a little bit too much. Try and lean over that leg. Five to go. Four. Three. Two, 
One more time. Good. Shake the legs out. Switch straight to the other leg. Same motion. Back knee dropping down. Drive through the front leg. Again, we're using that glute in the front leg to power us back up. So really squeeze, push into the heel. Squeeze your glute as hard as you can as you get to the top. Your glutes work, taking us from this position, this flexed hip, to a straight hip. So a little bit more lean forward, it's going to help you get a little bit more fire into those glutes as we drive to the top. Six to go. Good, one more time. Good, nice work. Shake the legs out. Back into our hip thrust. So, back down onto the floor. Get yourself set up onto your sofa. Eye line straight ahead. Knees and feet here with the part. Squeeze your glute and drive up. I usually teach your hands across your chest and you feel like you're holding your chest position down. If you feel like you need a bit of help, you can bring your arms across to give your elbows a bit of position to help you drive the glutes up. Whichever one helps you feel your glutes, your backside work harder, that's what I want. Don't necessarily pick the harder option if you don't get as much out of it. Five, four, three, two, one more. Good, lovely stuff. Straight back into that split squat. So, left foot goes back, right foot is forward. Little lean forward, hinge at the hips, back knee down, and up. Keep that lean forward, keep working into your glute to go down and to drive you back up. Four more. Three. Two more. One more time. Good. Shake the legs out. Switching legs. Again, lean forward. Make that work happen through the front leg, okay? Back leg drops down. Driving up. Your back leg should be really relaxed. We try and make sure the front leg does all of the work. Shake the legs out. Not bad at all. We're going to do that one more time. One more set of hip thrusts. One more set of split squats. So straight back down. Get yourself set up onto your sofa, onto your chair. Feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart. Squeeze your glutes. Drive the hips up. Eye line straight ahead. So you're clenching from your glutes to create the movement. If you ever feel in this movement that you feel neck tension, just use one hand to support your head. set of split squats. Eight repetitions this time, okay? We've got 12, 10, 8. So, left leg goes back. Lean forward. Weight forward into the front leg. Hands on your hips if you need balance. If not, wherever you feel comfortable with your hands. Let's go. Back knee down. And up. Good, eight breaths done, switch legs. Again, lean forward into it, back leg down, drive up. Three to go. One more time. 
Good, lovely stuff. Shake the legs out. Very, very quick drink if you wish. Okay, second sequence is going to be a squatting movement and what we call a frog pump movement, okay? So, squat movement, very simple. Feet hip width apart. You're going to sit back into it, hips out. Sit down into a squat, pause, drive back up. That's the squat. We're going to do a one and a half rep, okay? So, squat down, pause. Up a little bit, down, all the way back up. We're going to do eight of those. Down, up a little bit, back down, all that. Big squeeze into your glutes as you drive to the top. Keep your chest up, keep looking forward. Continue with that motion. If you find squats difficult to get the depth, use your chair or use your sofa to squat down, up a little bit, back down, all the way up. Or you can use the wall if you haven't got a chair, stick your backside against the wall. Down, up a little bit, back down, all the way up. Good, two more. Good, one more time. Good, lovely stuff. Straight back down onto your back. A frog pump. It's gonna be like a pelvic tilt and a hip thrust, but a different foot position. So, feet flat together for me. So, soles of your feet flat together, knees wide. Head down, elbows tucked in, hands across your chest. So, push into your elbows, squeeze into your abs and glutes, drive the feet together, and try and squeeze your glutes and drive the hips as high as you can. And back down, still getting that roll of your spine, not lifting your ribcage. Squeeze up and back down. We want a little bit of pace to these, okay? They're not going to have as much range. So squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. Having the legs wide in this position is what we call hip external rotation. External rotation is probably the secondary function of your glutes. From that first, we talked about going from a flexed hip to a straight hip. External rotation is the second movement of your hips. Slightly different muscle of your glute. But again, both really important. Five, four, three, two, one. And we go back up. So we go back into our squatting again, okay? Now again, if you want to make this harder, if you've got a weight that you want to hold, make it harder. Feet hip width apart, eye line straight ahead. Bend the knees, hips out, stick the hips out behind you, squat down, pause, up a little bit, back down, all the way up. We go for 10 of these, okay? Good, that's four down. Four to go. Two to go. Good. One more time for me. Good. Shake the legs out. Straight back down onto your back and go into those frog pumps again. Soles of the feet together. Knees out wide. Really push the feet together as hard as you can. Dig the elbows in and I hope you get a little bit more range. We're going for 40 seconds. Let's go. Drive the hips up and back down. Really squeeze into your glutes. That's halfway. 20 seconds to go. Still get that pelvic tilt, squeeze your abs and push the heels together as hard as you can. 10 seconds. Three, two, one more time. Good, we've got one more set of squats, one more set of frog pumps. When you're ready, up again, feet hit with the part. Let's go, one and a half reps, 10, 10 repetitions. Hips out, control down, pause, up a little bit, down, all the way back up. Four. 
Hold up. Three repetitions to go. One last time. Good, shake the legs. Last time, down into a frog pump. Let's go. We're nearly done. The fun is nearly over. All right, 40 seconds again. Really bring your feet in as close to you as you can when you do this. Heels together, knees wide. Pelvic tilt, take the elbows, squeeze your glutes. And out. 40 seconds again. Halfway, big glute and abs squeeze. Clench your glutes as hard as you can. Put your hands on them, feel them, they should be like rocks. 10 seconds. Just one little bit of fun left to go. Three, two, and one. Good stuff, up we get. Last exercise, okay? We're gonna finish off with some reverse lunges, okay? We've done some split squats, done some work. Last 60 seconds, really make sure your legs are fired up, okay? Take a deep breath. We're going to do alternate leg lunges. That's going to be a step back, back knee down, and alternate. As you do this, I want you to do it with a width in your legs. Don't step across the other leg, okay? Keep a bit of width. It's going to help your glutes work. 60 seconds. Let's go right to the end. Challenge yourself. All right. Again, if you find it difficult... To keep setting that position from a lunge because of your knees or anything like that. Then please just do a static squat. You can always do a static movement, switching every few repetitions. But again, if you feel comfortable stepping back into that lunge, do so. Keep that little bit of width. It's going to help you work into those glutes. Try and keep a good pace to it now. Try and really drive up through the glute nice and hard. 30 seconds. Time flies when you're having fun. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. And relax again, shake the legs out. Like we did earlier, take a big leg swing, swing the leg forward and back. Just find something to balance onto if you need to, especially if the legs are a little fatigued. Really try and get a good swing, try and feel a good stretch into the back of your leg as the leg swings. And switching. Again, keep the body still. Try and stretch the back of the leg as you swing forward and back. Alright, cross leg stretch. So you can take a seat wherever you've got a chair or your sofa. Doesn't matter, don't lay back, don't relax yet. But take one leg across the other. And from there we're just going to get to some really lean forward. Again, don't ever push on that leg. Really important. People tend to push a lot. You don't want to push into a stretch. You want to create a stretch through your body. So all I want you to do is think from your top half, you just feel like you're trying to bring your chest towards your shin a little bit. As you lean forward from that position, you're going to get a stretch as you're in that folded position around the side of your hip, around your glute, around your piriformis, these muscles around the side of your hip. So again, it's that gentle fold into it that's going to help you get that stretch. If you find it tough to do whilst you're sitting, you can lie down on your back and do that same cross leg. Now once you've held that for a few seconds, what you're actually going to do is take that leg all the way across. So it goes all the way across the other leg. And then try and pull that knee now gently towards your shoulder, okay? And again, you'll feel that stretch into the side of your hip. Again, don't force it, but see if you can gently get that knee across into a little bit of a stretch around the outside of your hip. Three, two, and one. All right, so again, crossing over. Again, if you struggle with the range, you might find it comfortable trying to do it standing. Well, then to come down into a lying position, so you're almost kind of creating this crossed over position. 
and sometimes people find that a more comfortable position to get that stretch around your hip. Again, whatever works best for you, and that's really quite individual. And again, if you have any issues with any of the exercises, stretches, or anything that we're doing, you're not sure how to do them, what kind of how it feels, or how it should feel, again, send me a message, let me know, we'll organize a call, and then we'll sort that out for you. After you've done that cross leg stretch, take the leg across, and again, almost gently try to pull that knee towards your shoulder just a little bit. Again, just so you can feel that stretch around the outside of your left hip. Good, hug the knees in, little squeeze, and we're going to take a little rock through our spine. Two more. One more. Good stuff. Monday morning glute class is done. You should absolutely be feeling them by now. Again, the pace, the tempo of this class is key. So again, if you've done it not too bad, next time try and really, really stick to the tempo. And again, what we're going to do is each week as we do this class is we're going to up the ante and give you some more options. We'll end up going into more single leg work. We'll start adding some weights as well. And we'll really start to challenge even more. Uh, I hope you had fun. Um, again, if you look on the last Lance Off of the Instagram, uh, Lance Off the Arsenal Instagram page uh, post, you'll see that this week there's lots of different classes. So this evening at 7.30 there's a high intensity class. Um, and there's different classes throughout the week. You're also going to see some more content from us uh, over the coming weeks as well. So, look, I uh, hope you had fun. Uh, any feedback, of course, let me know. Um, otherwise, yeah, look, I look forward to seeing you for high intensity later or Matt Pilates tomorrow morning. Uh, have a great day and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Ricardo, glad you enjoyed it. Barry's Laura as well. Mort Zavi, thank you. Perry Petrova, glad to hear you enjoyed it. Laura, thank you as always. Marin, Ethel, glad you enjoyed it. Lillian, it's always fun, right? It's always fun. Uh, Adriana, thank you. Thank you for your feedback as well. I appreciate it. Um, and again, make, I'll always try and make sure the angles are as good as possible. <laughs> 